Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to play some Dritz. I had a lot of fun playing with uh, Vivian this season, so I just wanted to play a different mid-range deck. And, you know, Dritz is solid, so I'm just going to go with that and see how well it does. So we're of course running the Hermitage because um, starting turn 6 you have a chance to draw a creature from your deck instead of getting an empty mana gem. So draw power is pretty good, especially in Dritz. Shields up to protect our legendaries and just push plays. Untested Rookie, uh, because we can protect it with traps and just get a lot of value out of it. Uh, Matron Malice, just because it is a uh, one drop three one legendary to get the ball started, and also um, if you have a turn where you like attacking with a bunch of things, a bunch of things get traded off, then uh, this thing can come back, which is always good. So recursion on uh, recursion on legendary is pretty good, obviously. Devoted Steed um, basically can serve as like heal, change combat math, push for more damage, etc. Uh, Clonian Tusker two drop four three is just a stat stick. Giant Growth. Uh, protects your creatures, pushes damage, makes sure your legendary stay around longer. Grudge Match is our uh, spot removal and uh, can just clear the way for some more damage. Driss Herald gives a friendly creature, uh, a friendly creature becomes legendary. Then we have uh, Watch Wolf, best two drop in the game, two drop, three, four. It's kind of insane. Stoneforge Mystic, so we can uh, win games through things like sneak, haste, flying, uh, ridiculous upgrade buffs, and so on. Uh, trackers, the other way we are going to uh, remove threats alongside the grudge match. I'm going to hope that it is enough. And then we have uh, Virtus. I'm trying out Virtus over the 4.14 uh, flyer because I could see getting silent strikes being a really good way of basically breaking boards and getting damage through. So I just wanted to try them for this video. And then we have the package of 4 drop legendary hasters. So we have the Inferno, the Zozu, and the Tajik all very obnoxious and powerful and then for some more haste we have vicious mongrel and then we have the blight huff boar because when you combine it with grudge match and tracker it just gets kind of insane and then the last legendary haster is Ulrich moonlight haste attack add a random creature with moonlight to your hand so some more card advantage uh, the reason I'm so big on the hasters with Dritz is because we're obviously trying to maximize tempo with the cat, and then also when we play against control, we can just continuously uh, apply uh, pressure, especially after we get Day of Judgment in. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, and this is basically the matchup I was dreading was versing Liliana. I was like this close to putting Olivia Valderin as uh, my last legendary over um, the four drop that makes the silent strikes, just because I thought it'd be funny to take it. I have no idea if I can win this matchup, and I don't think I can. Um, I'd have to draw really well, and they'd have to draw really badly. That's just really close to ideal, however. I'm going to try. I just don't think I can. If I were going to, this is a really good start. Okay, they're running this version. I kind of like this version because it gives you like more grindy play against control. But... Um, that answers all my questions. Virtus could be a way that we actually win this game. Now I'm really hoping that they just pass here and they don't have a zombie or the thing that makes a 2-2 zombie. That's fine with me. That's not, well, unless that is um, the 2-2, but it shouldn't be. Good. I'm, I'm just going to drop the Herald and make it legendary. And I really hope I draw something to curve with next turn. I just have to put as much pressure on as quickly as possible. If they go Corpse Conveyor this turn, I'm probably going to lose. Okay, that's what they took from me. Please give me a card to play. If I don't get a card to play, I'm probably going to lose. I lost. I know that sounds silly, but um, you just have to curve out against Liliana, and I'm not curving, so. Even though my curve tops out at 1-5 drop, so I don't know why I'm having problems with curving here. You could argue I should have put this back, but I had 1 into 2, and then uh, basically 3 draws, so. I'm going to play Zozu and attack. Um... I want to get this as big as possible as quickly as possible so if they want to block here then um, you know that's okay man imagine if I had a Tusker on the board right now as well like then I probably win 
I can also um, Virtus uh, connect and then put Silent Strike on this and win that way as well. That's way too slow. We're going for tempo. And then we have uh, Virtus and Steed. So the Virtus demands to be answered. Yeah, if I had Tusker, they would they literally would have just died. The turn that I blank because I have four health. Wrong turn, interesting. I'm obviously gonna put Tusker down because they're at four, not three. Also, um, the cat coming out is quite dangerous as well. And they don't know I have Steed in my hand. Are they anticipating for foul? Because they're dead. Okay, so nature spell. Wow, this is this is really easy, but they didn't drop the corpse conveyor on curve either. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, and they know they're dead. They were dead to uh, just the cat from the legendary, and even if that didn't come out, Steed and. I would get silent strike and have to keep answering that, so I'll definitely I'll definitely take that, you know. That was um went a lot better than I thought, but they also didn't um they did not have an impressive curve whatsoever. So, you know. I'll take the victory. Alright. Alright, we were going up against a Rawl here. Obviously going to be very difficult. I'm probably going to have to hard mull for a grudge match or a uh, tracker to just not lose. Like I said, I got to mull for what I got to mull for. At least maybe I can take him by surprise with a grudge match, but... Uh. Yeah, definitely need Tracker or Grudge Match, please. Well, well then, let events take their course. Let's go! Let's go! Uh -huh. Hey, we got Grudge Match. Okay. They unfortunately have the Mana Gem, which is a very large boon. If they take this turn to play Thing in the Ice, I'm in trouble. This only happens if they go second. So now if they have um, a Mana Surge, a Spark of Genius, they can flip it. Or three ones, I guess. Or two ones and anything two or less. So yeah, this is going to flip. Bro, what the heck? I can kill the 3-3? Three, three? And then I can chump with Untested Rookie and Grudge Match attack? Why is this my life right now? Has a good chance of surviving. They've already missed one shock, so... Spark a genius, anticipate. At 
least it wasn't Spark of Genius and required mana. If they shock my wolf, that's going to be obnoxious. Because they could have anticipated for the shock that they had left. It's going to block with Rookie anyway. Can't let my life total go that low. By Zozu, they're just going to block the Zozu with this. I need them to try and answer this now. I think this is right, even though it looks weird. I want to incentivize them to block this. Clear the path for Zozu. They are not having it. Play another dude. Mm. Going second is so cracked in this game. Sick. Oh, you're thinking if you should attack because I might have um, shields up? That's really greedy. Because I, you know, everyone knows Dritz runs that, and I have one mana up. But you know, what's what skill? We don't have that here. I'm gonna blight hoof bore, and so whenever they make dudes, I'm gonna just get huge. Hopefully, they don't have like an unsummon or some trash like that. Okay, the land didn't go off, which is good, because it starts to go off on 5, right? No, 6, okay. I'm sure it'll go off next turn, just to make sure that they have enough gas. Thank you. I could really use some cards. I would have liked that one, but that's close enough. Uh-huh. If that's Chaos Lightning... Why would you swing with this? Oh, because it's game. Wait, it's not game. What am I talking about? This is gonna die anyway, so... Let's go to four. If that's a second Chaos Lightning, I hate Rawl's Guts. Is basically how this goes. If their land goes off, man, I just need their land not to go off. Just don't go off. It's the first turn it can go. How does it bail him out every time? How does it bail him out every time? He had one card and now he has uh, four. Sick. That's infuriating. Every time they're just low enough on cards, Laboratory's like, well, let me give them a free win. Okay. Well, despite the game trying to make sure he wins, I win. Woo! It's getting tilted, as you guys can tell. <laughs> Okay, we got the mirror for the last game, um, so 
I predict Dritz is going to win this game. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to build decks that would lose in mirror matches. To have better um, stuff against like the meta at large. Um, I would like to get some things I can actually play. It's not quite what I meant. But um, so we can go two, two, three, four. And this could potentially help me answer one of their early legendaries, so this might be okay. Oh, you know what I just realized is that my, um, I had this speaker on the whole time. So I hope the game audio just wasn't super loud for you guys. That's going to be awful if, uh, if that's the case. I was playing through my soundbar um, while I was watching some videos earlier. <laughs> but I think I checked the audio of one of the games and it was okay, but... <sighs> Man, any deviation from what I regularly do and I just fall to pieces, right? Content creation at its finest. Well, I'm grudge matching that and swinging. Oh. Uh, should be a surprise to, to no one. I do really like that uh, card in Dritz sometimes, though. I've played it in Dritz before. That one Dritz meta, though, where Dritz was broken before he got nerfed and it was just nothing but Dritz, that format was obnoxious. I mean, I still have PTSD from it. So. That's not, like, scary. Unless it hits like a broken legendary or something. Life is for the living. Okay. Mm. Well. I could steed. I could steed. I could also shields up, get them to block here, and then steed. I think that's better than Stoneforge, honestly. <laughs> like give up something do it. Okay, well, since that didn't happen, now nah, I will do this. Let's gear up. Uh psh. I'll take um yeah, that that one's more uh well-rounded. And I can inflict a lot more damage with this with the shields up than the one that's uh plus 4 defense. That's pretty funny. I was wondering why the game audio was so loud when I checked, though. It's because um, I had my soundbar going and not my usual uh, just desktop or, you know, like laptop speakers. Yikes. Come to me, my shadow. What are you doing? Yeah, that's why I did it this way, and so he's gonna lose this for, like, no reason because he wants to play games. Uh, genius opponent. Oh man, I really wish I could Tajik and uh, Shields up. That'd be nasty, nasty. Um, see, if I do this attack, then, you know, I'd be like my opponent. Don't be like him. Kind of want to get Boar online. Mm. Patience. Patience. Ugh. Let's not give up any advantage because I'm just uh, not patient enough. Ugh. Impatient. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Cards like that are so greedy. Sure, dude. Yeah. Okay, so my deck was built way better because that was garbage. Um, but yeah. That's why I even took out things like uh, Heroes Call in my deck because um, 
<laughs> while it's a good card, I'm trying to, you know, like the point of mid-range is to snowball your advantage. And when you play low tempo cards like that, um, like, okay, Hero's Call on 5 is good if you get a 4-drop Legendary with haste. But like, I'm trying to continue to get stats, continue to interact, and um, push through that. Like, people just Where try and get too fancy friend with friend. mid range instead of just going through the throat. Climbing is like really easy, man. Like, if I didn't have to post a spell singer, uh, you know, a new spell singer all the time, and I didn't derank all the time from trying to come up with new content, uh, then um, I'd probably be like in the top 10 at like all times, if not top 5 at all times. Um, and I've been seeing people uh, climb this week because I've just been watching a lot of spell slingers and not playing as much just to um, not get burnt out, you know. And I see how it's done, man. You just sit here and you just play. It really almost has nothing to do with skill because once you once you reach a certain amount of skill, then it's just like you just get the reps in. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know I don't play Dritz often, but I did have fun playing him. Um, it's a good mid-range deck, and. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.